So a friend and I were walking through the Naval Exchange to uh, just fill in every, everybody in. Uh, and and we were just walking, like going to buy some chips or something. Yeah. I don't even know. And this little girl, probably between seven-year-old and nine-year-old, comes just flying out from between uh, the rows and looks me dead in the eye and says, I don't judge you, and then runs away, never to be seen again. I don't know where her parents were. I don't know if she had parents. I don't know who she was with. <laughs> yeah, so I, I stopped for a minute, looked at the person I was with and said, yeah, it tracks, and kept walking. Yeah. Because... That's what happens to me. On, no, on I grew up. I grew up in the Appalachian mountain range, man. I've had terrifying. <laughs> I had terrifying experiences in Japan. I'm gonna talk about it on the show eventually, but oh yeah, you gotta tell me about that. Yeah. So and then so yeah, I'm good, man. I've seen all the. I've seen all the. Uh, I haven't seen any of it. The paranormal stuff that I ever, ever, ever want to see. In fact, man, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll throw some heavy Jesus on you. Roll in my house, man. You about to get the. You about to get the Holy Ghost because I'm not playing with ghosts, man, or spirits or demons, oh, none of that stuff. I've been to psychics and stuff. And I've heard the same line from so many, like, palm readers and blah, 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 right? Uh, that I'm just kind of like, you're going to hit me with that right away, huh? <laughs> it's the, you're a gypsy curse thing, right? Like, eh, everybody, you can't open with that, right? Like, don't. No. So, don't yeah, so, but I'm down, I'm down with, like, the cryptic stuff, except I am starting to, I'm starting to drift into the, like, uh, like, you ever heard of this thing called a rake? I mean, I've heard of a rake, but I don't think it's the same rake. No. We don't talk about the same rake. No. We're going to do a podcast on this thing, We're man. Definitely not. Okay, what's a rake in man. this respect? Just in the general sense. It's not Flying. 10 feet tall. Those are wendigos, they say. But th th but a rake looks like, but looks like a white. It's pale white uh -huh. because it lives in the cave systems up there. And it looks like a World War Z zombie. But fast. Oh. Right? You ever okay. seen that movie, World War Z? Fast zombie. Yeah, yeah. No, I got the that's, fast that's, that's another thing, too, man, on, on my top ten list of stuff that terrifies me. Like, the Walking Dead zombies, man, I will I will headshot them dudes and dance around. You know what I'm saying? Like, They're only, yeah, but that was strength in numbers more than anything else. Yeah, but fast zombies? I, I mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared zombies. for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody is. You, you, yeah. That's that's the that's the end scenario, right? There. Yeah. Fast zombies is the end scenario yeah. because it's almost impossible to defend yourself against something like that. Yeah. Like that's when you head for the aircraft carrier. Yeah. Exactly. That's when you, exactly. Right. That's when the ocean becomes your friend. But then, yeah, uh, yeah. So that's what it looks like, man. And some. And I was talking to somebody, and they were pointing me in some directions on that. I don't even know if I want to drift into that until I find out what that is. Then I'll be like, okay, we'll do some research on it, man. Because I was telling Scott, man, as far as paranormal go, I stop at, I stop at, skinwalkers. I'm not doing demons. We're not getting into that, right? We're not going. We're not going over into that. demonology. Nah, we ain't doing none of that, man. We ain't going into any of that stuff, man. So it's it's probably a bad idea. Yeah, exactly, right. I read the Lesser Key of Solomon. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so, right. it's, so I'm it's good. Bad idea. Yeah, bro. So, anyways. Not gonna be chanting in circles, drawing anything on the ground. No, nah, it will never happen. No, nah, yeah, probably no. not. Because something probably, will show up. Again, probably a bad idea. Something will yeah, show up. Yeah, no, I, I don't take chances like that with the weird reality that I live in as it stands anyway. Yeah, so here's the right. thing too, man. Like I don't know I don't know what type of peop what type of life people are living. But I know right now that a lot of people are out there times are hard around the globe actually people are fighting sure. fighting 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 right so what after a long day of fighting for your freedoms fighting for food getting everything done you just want to come home and like hey let's draw a pentagram and summon see what, see what the, right? typically it's, those are not the people who are summoning yeah shish, shish, uh, yeah so i'm thinking like that ain't that ain't my thing man that's not my thing so uh, and I agree with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, typically, the type of people who do that sort of thing are people like Aleister Crowley, who are oh, yeah. uh, a little bit bent in the head. That right? freaking clown. That dude's a clown, man. Jay-Z's God. Barack Obama's God. <laughs> well, I don't, I'm not getting into that. But, yeah. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. But neither here nor there. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I just think that that's probably. Like, why would you want to? Why would you want to try to mess with something 
uh, with that kind of power? Like, why would you want to call your attention to yourself? Well, I'll, I'll even take it a step further. In the that, theoretical that, sense, right? That, that thing, why would you want to mess with something that has all that, that's that's that much powerful than you and right. hates your very existence, cannot stand you, full of yeah. total malice, right? Right? Yeah. Name well, one. And then there's the other side of it, like people uh, trying to summon angels and stuff. But then again, you know, like the, there's a lot of requirements there that are really hard to fulfill. Well, my thing is that, so, okay, name one time you've heard a story where a guy said, yeah, I summoned a demon and my life went great. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not a that's not a story that you hear. No, not at all. Wow, no. came in and turned everything uh, around. Right. <laughs> turned everything around, no, right? Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, I I believe that, and I think that you know, uh, it just you can sum it up with Newton's whoa, third law: for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? And I think that that kind of like like applies to so many things because we live in a physical universe. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and there's going to be bounce back no matter what you do. Right. Well, children at home, if you're watching this, don't play with demons. All right. That's rule number one. That is Anyways, a safe statement, sir. If you stuck around this, <laughs> <laughs> just saying it's common sense. People, uh, it's good advice. It's common For sense. Sure. It's common sense, right? Yeah, it's common absolutely. sense, people. Yeah, yeah don't, 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 don't mess don't, with it. Don't do that. No. You, remember, you remember Steve Irwin? Don't muck with it, mate. Don't muck with it. Danger, yeah, right. danger, danger. And that's the guy that used to grab a hold of crocodiles. This dude used to so. dive on a crocodile, man. And it's like, oh, yeah. look at here, mate. Yeah, right. It's like an Australian to... wingy do. It's also known Angry as the animals. Kill you, kill you in three steps. Right. Danger, danger, right. danger. <laughs> danger, 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 fish. No, yeah, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Yeah. Anyway, Jay, I'm glad you're back. And if you stuck around this yeah. long, losers, you're our type of losers. Do us a favor. Smash that subscribe button. Right. Give this a thumbs up. Forward this to your mama. Forward this to your granny. I don't care who you, else you forward it to. Forward it. Leave a comment. Argue it out. If you like demons, don't leave a comment. I, I, will, I will probably delete it. I will probably not even talk to you about it like that. So, Jay, you got anything? Uh... I don't know. Apparently, we're giving out green lights. Green lights? Yeah. Just leave it at that. All right, then. We out! Subscribe now and turn on the notifications to join us on this extraordinary journey into the unknown.